Your first week aboard the merchant vessel is nothing but backbreaking labor, unrelenting heat, and bad food. The landlubbers among you spend the first week being constantly sick, and even the adventurers who grew up with this sort of thing take a little while to regain their sea legs. The merchant captain takes it easy on you for the first few days. He won't be very good in a fight if he's working you to the bone. After you've proven yourself capable of walking three steps on a heaving deck without falling overboard, he starts assigning you tasks like checking the rigging, cleaning the bilges, practicing knots, and, most importantly, scanning the horizon from the crow's nest. The less patient adventurers are starting to wonder if you if you're ever going to see any action when the lookout gives a shout from up in the rigging. For the first time since you put out to sea, you've spotted another vessel on the horizon. It looks like it spotted you too, because as soon as you train your spyglass on the ship, it begins to turn about, cutting a path through the waves straight toward you. As if on cue, a heavy rain begins to fall. There's also something strange about the crew. They're taller than average men, and their skin is tinted. When you share this news with the merchant captain, he gives you a brief, explosive object lesson in nautical curses. They're a daro, half man and half shark. How does that even happen, you blurt out. The captain gives you a look that tells you it's no time for jokes. The daro are some of the bloodthirstiest denizens of the deep. Once they've caught your scent, they won't stop until one of you is dead. They've got a strange relationship with their full shark brethren, and would just as soon feed you to them as kill you themselves. You peer overboard and notice several dozen pointed fins projecting out of the water. Some say it's a sacrifice to the gods of storm, since the Adaro are largest and fiercest where the storms are the worst. This is all speculation, you see. Nobody's asked an Adaro and lived to tell the tale. A somber silence fills, falls over the crew as the Adaro ship draws ever closer. When it's near enough that you can see its terrible pointed fin crew with your bare eyes, the Adaro captain gives you a terrible grin. Those teeth and swan dives off the bow, clutching a long coral spear in his heavily muscled arms. What are you doing standing around gawking? The merchant captain shouts. Time to earn your keep, boys and girls. Hey guys, this is Rolling Meeple. This is Panda Meeple. This is our first playthrough for the Pathfinder Adventure card game. Today's scenario is island hopping, and in this scenario, if you, you would defeat a hammerhead shark henchman, you put it on the bottom of another random open location. Um, you, you can still close the, the location that the henchman originally came from, so let's get started, shall we? Okay. Do you want to go first, or do you want me to go first? Um, You can go first. Since you don't have your card set up? Yeah. <laughs> we'll just go around the table. I'll start with Olok. We'll just go around. Yeah. So the first one for me will be Olok. He is starting at the Holy Isle. And that one is when you if you play a blessing on during your exploration, you may explore again. So if I play um, blessings, I get free explorations here. So that's kind of cool. So the first card I get is a blessing of Gazra. So that's kind of nice, actually. Um, it is a Divine 5 or Wisdom Survival 7 check. So, sorry guys, we are trying out a green screen here, so we're just trying to figure it out here. We have a little bit of a new setup now, so... Um... Yeah, we just went to Best Buy today and spent like... <laughs> <laughs> Don't admit that to anyone. Delete that part. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> all right. So that's your first card. Yes, that's, a, that's my first card. All right. So yeah, that's a good one to get. It's my divine die, which is a D eight plus two. Now I could get myself a plus another plus one if I did, if I decided to display a blessing, which would allow me not allow me to play it later on until my turn. Okay, until the end of my, after, well, so the start of your next turn, right? Actually, no, it would, and since I'm starting, it would be the end of my turn now. Yeah, yeah. So I would, I would still. It's just if you play out, out of your turn. I still would get the, although, well, oh yeah, we did, we did, we did flip it. I could play it and then I would get a free exploration. Yeah. I'll play it for an extra D8 just to get this because it's, 
this is a nice this is a nice blessing to have yeah especially since we're at the beginning and having it at the beginning pretty nice and i, I didn't mean it because i rolled an eight on my first one that's okay it gives you free exploration so i'll take it and i don't have to play a blessing to explore anything to explore because i played a blessing to on the exploration so my next card is phantasmal minion which is a spell I don't think I'm going to play anything on this one. It's not that great of a spell. I've seen this one. It's it's only it's only you'll only let you to, to discard this card to give another card to another player. So I don't really like this one. So I'm just gonna roll it and see what happens. It's an intelligence arcane. My intelligence die is only a d4, so I would have to roll max. Yeah. <laughs> so this this character is more of a divine character. So yeah. And I rolled a four. Well, so there you I, go. Get, I get to I get to keep it. <laughs> That's cool because uh, Lem is an arcane. So I could trade it to you at the end. Yeah. But for now, I think I'm done. I'm gonna discard it. Okay. So I only have four. Yeah. So my next turn is Fea, my witch. I'm not a witch. I'm your wife. And she's over here at the Tepus K, which says, if your ship has dealt damage. Structural damage increased that damage by one, which is kind of nice because I, oh nope, never mind. She's not the one that decreased decreases damage. That's one of your characters. So my first card is Lookout Duty. This is one of the new task um, uh, barriers. So this says the difficulty to decrease the, this barrier. Defeat this barrier is increased by adventure deck number of the current scenario, if any. If defeated, you may look at the top card of the barrier's location deck. If it's a monster, you may immediately encounter it. If undefeated, your ship has dealt one structural damage. Leave this barrier face up on the location deck. Characters at the location encounter this barrier as their first exploration of the turn. So we want you to beat it. Yes. <laughs> this is, is, is a wisdom perception, which my wisdom is only a d6. So... Um, Do we have anything that, that'll work for barriers? To your check. No. I don't have any blessings out. When you could give yourself one die with the Gozra blessing. I mean, I have, got, but... I have a ton of blessings over here. <laughs> so, I've got four in my hand, so. Yeah, I would just use one. And that gives me a D, 2d6? Yeah. To get a six? Oh, when a character at your location is, is a, attempts a check to acquire an ally or defeat a barrier, you may recharge a card to reduce the difficulty of that check by one. Oh, okay, that's good. Plus the adventure card, plus the uh, card's adventure deck number. Okay, so so I can. It would just be one right now, but I can recharge another card. Yeah. So I think I will recharge my amulet of life. To, to reduce the difficulty by one. So it's a five, and I have 2d6. That's a little more manageable. Yeah. And I broke two fives. Okay, well, that works. I'm rolling pretty good right That's now. That's good, because I don't want that. New. And it says... If defeated, you may look at the top of the barrier's location deck. If it's a monster, you may immediately encounter it. And it is a monster. Nice. I so mean, Maybe. It's a swarm monster, so glad I'm the only one at the location. Yeah. <laughs> All damage dealt by the build spider swarm is poison damage. If you are on a ship, the difficulty of the check is uh, to defeat is increased by four. Well. So I'm on a ship. Oh yeah, that's right. We're um, putting these here to show who's on it. It travels with whoever the main oh, character geez. is. Oh jeez. If you do not defeat the build spider swarm by at least four. Shuffle it into the deck it came from. The Bill's Swarm still counts as defeated. Well, so, I, I can help with combat, so that's good. So it's a 6, but I'm on a ship, so it's increased to a 10. I have to defeat it by at least 4 for not, not to get shuffled back into the deck. So it's a 14. Okay, so I can give you... I will play my Frostbite, which says... My arcane or divine skill plus one d six. Um, so my arcane, my 
arcane with Daji is arcane, which is intelligence plus two. My intelligence is a d12. So I get a d12 plus two, a d6. And you said you were going to give me a blessing? I can. <clears throat> or a d4? I can shuffle a card from my hand into my deck to add a d4 at another location. So I can do that. Okay. So I'll shuffle in one of my allies. So you get an extra d4. And then if you wanted another one, I do have the ability to do that with one of my weapons on limb. Well, I have a possibility of a maximum roll of fridge 20 right now. Good job. Oh, I'll just drop my deck no. everywhere. No. 22. I need a 14. So, yeah, I need a 14. Well, well, technically I need a 12 with my plus 2. Yeah. I could display a card with Olak to to do to, to increase it to in, increase it by one. I could recharge another card to decrease it by decrease it by one. Well, it, you're gonna you're gonna. No, I can't. Not not yet. Oh, only once per turn. No, it's not a. I I don't have the the monster checked off. Yet. Oh oh okay. You could do. Oh, I would do Olak. I think because it's only one card. I'll just display his regular blessing for one for a plus one. Okay. So that's plus three. So I have to get a eleven on these dice. Yeah. A D four, D six. Terrible. A D twelve. Nope. Failed Nine. Ah. I, I I defeated it, but I didn't defeat Ten, it by 11. four. Ten eleven. That's right. I didn't defeat it by four. So. Shuffle into the deck it came from. So it, gets, it goes back into this. At least you don't get any damage. No. All right. So, I mean, it's still in there, but it's all right. Ooh, don't get, take any structural damage here. You get an extra like, yeah. structural damage. I didn't see that. So you're done with her turn, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and be done with my turn. All right, so my first turn is Lem. And Lem is represented by Lini. Um, So you're back, and I am on the ship. I'm going to recharge one of my blessings to shuffle my frostbite back in. Lini is um, at the Lonely Island. If you are the only one at the Lonely Island, you add a D4 to your checks attempted at that location. So I am by myself. My kind of invisible leopard does not count. Um, <laughs> my first is a cure. Nice. So I do have divine and arcane. My divine skill on limb is a d10 plus one. So I have to get a five on a d10. It's mm. not that bad. 50% is chance. Yeah, I mean, I can re- oh, no, wait, I'm at this location, so I can add a d4. Sweet. So I'm probably fine. Yeah, you're probably. Good five. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven. Yep. Nice. I already have a cure out, so that's fun. <laughs> uh, and I have no blessings. Um, I don't think I can explore again. I don't think you can either. And I have five, so I have to discard one. Um... Card, just discard just, 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 just one of the cures. I can always cure it back if you need to. Yeah. Oh, excuse right. me. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. So now it is Larry Ann's turn, and Larry Ann is represented by Harsk. And he is at the Pinnacle Atoll. And at this location, you discard a card for the Blessings deck to close it. And when you encounter a card, you roll D12, and on a one, you shuffle the henchman, herbs of something, something, a giant turtle that totally destroys your ship. And so we don't want him. That one? That one? Yes. So we don't want him at all. He's evil. Um, so I'm going to roll a d12, and hopefully I don't get a one, because that would be bad. Whew, a four. All right. So I'm good. Now I can explore. Ooh. 
And I got a Pearl of Wisdom. It's kind of a punny name. Uh, recharge this card to roll your Wisdom die instead of your normal die on a non-combat check. Well, my Wisdom is a D12, so that would be friggin' awesome. Yeah, that would be nice. <laughs> so, uh, uh, my Wisdom's a D12, and I have to get a 7. Um, I can... Let's see. This is well, displayed already. Yeah. If you display another one, it resets at the start of your, the end of in your the, next in turn. End of my turn. Okay, so you'd have to save it for one more turn. Um, recharge this to add a combat check. No. I mean, she's got. Let's see here. I've got two blessings on her. Okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll take one of. I'll take one of Faya's. All right. So that gives me two d twelves. I'm probably fine. Yes. I just wanted to make sure I got it because it's pretty sweet for her. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I didn't need it because I got a nine and a six. Whatever. All right. Well, sweet. That is nice. So I recharge it to roll my wizard die instead of. A, that's nice on a non-combat, which is still pretty cool. So I'm gonna play my master gunner, and uh, that allows me to explore again. Uh, and then I get the swashbuckling trait if I get a combat. Oh, I chose the wrong location to go to first. All right. Oh, nice. It's a bar room brawl. Oh, fun. <laughs> All right. So we don't have an adventure deck number, so it's not increased. But uh, we're alone still, so I'm the only one who has to do it. And uh, I have to defeat it plus one. Um... Is it plus one? No, wait, no, sorry. If any. Each character that does not defeat it is dealt one plus one, so never mind. So uh, I have to encounter it, and it's defeated if I encounter it and defeat it, which is fine because it's only uh, strength, melee, dexterity, five, and my dex is d8. So a five on a d8. Uh, when you play a weapon that has a fire, I can't play a weapon, right? No, because it's not on melee. Mm. All right. Uh, you may shuffle a card in your hand to any combat check in another location. Well, I'll just try it with what I have. Yeah, this is a this is not this is a non combat check. Oh, it's a non. So I could use my pearl of wisdom. Yeah, I got this. Is this this should be a non combat check? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so just just to be safe, I'll use my pearl of wisdom again. Um, or I will use the witch that I just got it, uh, and it gives me my recharge. wisdom die. Thank you, recharge. Um, so it gives me my wisdom die, which is a d12 instead of my dex, which is d8. So I have to feel better about that. Yeah. All right, and I got a 10. So I am good. This is gone. And it doesn't say anything about when you defeat it. So it's just defeated. I don't have anything else to explore with, so I'm going to reset my hand. Okay. I have a handful of weapons. And we're back to <laughs> Olak. Yes. Right? I got a regular blessing for my blessings deck, so... Okay, Olak is right here. I have one. This is displayed, correct? Uh, yeah, just okay. that one. I got an ally. Nice. And it's <laughs> a human aristocrat pirate, Heartbreak Henson. He's a dexterity disable or charisma diplomacy. Barrier this card to succeed at your check to defeat a barrier that has the tasks trait. Oh, well, that would have been nice. Yeah. Discard this card to explore your location. Add this watchful -like trait to your combat checks during this exploration. So charisma diplomacy, I think. Nope. Dex disable. Both they both suck. Um. Hmm. Well, you do have a blessing, right? I do have a the close blessing, but I have Gazra, but what's your dex? My dex is a D four. Oh. Well, My okay. charisma is a D six. <laughs> so either way, you need help. Uh, either way, I need help. Let's see. I mean, again, I have a blessing on her. Yeah, I got nothing. Oh, well, I will use Sorry. another blessing on her. All mine's for combat checks and stuff. So that... she's got four cards in her hand for her next turn. I know. Hopefully she doesn't Gets... fight anything. So I'm going to use my charisma so I get 2d6 to get a 7. <laughs> and this plus one does not help me anymore because that was only... Yeah. We played that wrong the first time we filmed yeah, this. Yeah, we filmed this one time and we kept overpowering. I rolled a seven exactly. Nice. We kept overpowering uh, Olaf's power, so we're like, we, it was like totally super ridiculously easy. And we we're like, this cannot be right. So we looked. So up. I'm gonna discard him to explore, and I get the um, 
explore I get the swashbuckling trait on my turn. We looked it up uh, and it was totally wrong. Oh, ooh, the henchman. So we're filming it again. <laughs> so this is a combat nine. Uh, it may not be evaded. The difficulty of defeat is increased by by the scenario deck number, if any, which it's not. So that's zero. If you defeat it, you may immediately attempt to close the, the location this henchman came from. And then when you defeat it, it goes under a random location. And you'll see how we do that in a second. In a second. So you don't have that one. I have those three. So I have. I can do a D12 plus a D4. And I may just additionally discard this to get another D12. And you have better weapons in your hand, in your deck, so you might as well. Yeah. Well, you have a spell, though. And this is a D8 plus 2 and 2 D4. I think I'll use that because that has, that has a chance, a possibly a chance of getting recharged. Yeah. So that is. A D8 plus 2 and 2D4. Two and you're probably fine. I mean... It's only a 9. Yeah, it's a 9. So I have to get a 7 on a 2D8 or a D8 and 2D4. I hate picking up D4s, by the way. <laughs> they suck. It's like an inside joke. He can't pick them up. His fingers are too chubby. Hey! <laughs> I rolled a set twelve. Nice. So, hammerhead goes goes bye bye. It go and so we have five locations left that are open. Yeah, because we can't. We it says and other, so other. that one doesn't count. So, we will roll a d ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we always start with the one that's to the left or clockwise, clockwise, clockwise from where we are. Yeah. And that's that's one, two, three, four, so on. So we're a nine. So it's on the last it's on that one. Okay. It goes on the bottom. Lily Island just got another shark. So and my close is what on the on the holy island? Uh succeed at a wisdom or divine seven. And Was, you do have the blessing of Gozra, which is yeah. uh Wasn't closing. There, which I don't only have to get a I have to get a five on a D eight at the moment, but I might as well use it. I can, yeah. I can heal it. Yeah. So it gives you two extra of your wisdom die. So three D eight. Yeah, that's probably fine. Yeah, should be fine. Yeah. If I fail at that, then that's I, pretty sad. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Thir Thirteen twenty one. Yeah. I, yeah, you're good. I got it. All right, so that's closed, and on closing, you may recharge any cards that have the divine trait in your discard pile. Oh, nice. So you can recharge it anyway, because it's a blessing, and all blessings have. That. Yes. So, okay, so this one is closed. And, then, and, and I get, my, I get my, my regular blessing back. We missed a barrier, a couple of blessings, and fine traps. Spells. And look at that. I got three blessings. Well, <laughs> okay. Oh, and you can recharge this while I take it. Oh, yeah. Turn. So you're here, and I am going to... No, it's your next turn. It's Never mind. a D... Divine 8, so I get... So it's, uh, it's a D8 plus 2. Nope. I rolled a 5. Meh, it's all right. And so it's, it's Faya's next turn? Yes. And she is... She's here. Temp the Tempest K. Hers is a dwarf caiman. It's an ally. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's a wisdom survival six. Reveal this card to add one d6 to your stealth or fortitude check. That's pretty nice. So wisdom survival. Her wisdom. It's a she d6. Has survival? It's a wis No. I don't think anyone. She's a d6. Actually. She's got a d6. That's a decent one, so I think I might want to use a blessing on that. What do you have for your die? It's a wisdom T6. Oh yeah. I'd have to roll perfectly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's a, it's, it's not a bad. It's it's. I mean, it's, it's a, a pretty good one. It's a basic one though. 
I don't. Yeah, yeah I'll I don't just know. roll it. I'll just roll it. If you get it, it's fine. I mean, it's not like, it's like the last time. It it's not. It's not spectacular. Yeah. Nope. Eh, that's all right. Sorry, crocodile. All right. So, can you go again or no? I could. I could use my turtle. Turtle, turtle. <laughs> yeah, you got rid of it on the first game we played, and I was like, "Come on, now we're not gonna be able to see that anymore." So, I mean, it, it's all his. His is only. Reduce the common damage to you by one. Nah, lame. Or discard to explore. So I'll just discard him to explore. Mm, you're here. And oh, it's, we did this, right? I think so. I hope so, because I've been forgetting. Pirate hunting. Summon and encounter a random ship or a random monster if you're not on a ship. Well, you're on a ship. So, so I don't do the goblin one. Yes. We, have, we had one in there that it says to, to summon and encounter a henchman first, but we couldn't find the henchman in the <laughs> in the box, so... Yeah, it was like a promo it, card, so we kind of... Prim- yeah, it's a premium pr- promo card. D- does that say that I can seize it if I defeat the barrier? Um, If a summon card is defeated, banish it. So yeah, no, you just get to banish it. Ooh, the sea shanty. Wasn't survival. Uh, I'll six. leave those out since I know we're gonna be. We play, we play, play, play this. There's one. So there's an, another one that allows us to summon an encounter ship, and if we actually do get it, we seize it. Yeah. I think it's the the floating shipyard up there. So, uh, charisma eight, charisma diplomacy eight, or wisdom survival six. So. Well, she's got charisma diplomacy of a D eight plus two. Oh, good. So, so you have to get a six on a D. It's pretty. Eesh, that's pretty. Um, I really should be at another location with someone on limb because I like, I have helpful stuff for people at my location, but. Um. I mean, I have three blessings on. Yeah, you could always. Lock. You could always use one. Because we. D eight two D eight to get a uh, six to get a six yeah yeah if you can't tell we always take the the plus off just to see what we have to roll on the, on the dice to be able to get it and I rolled a six on one of the, on one of the D eight nice. so well that's good well which so, is good because I rolled a five on the other so yeah I'm glad I added one so those are both banished well hand me that back since well we can you can't do it again if it's banished it's dead it's in the ocean. Spanish back to the box, so it could, I guess. it could come up to, as the one one of the ones we seize later on. Uh, maybe, I think if it was a real pirate, it would be in the bottom of the ocean. We wouldn't be able to do it. I have no way of exploring again. So, all right. So, um, while you reset your hand, I'm gonna go. Lem is first. I have no blessings or no spells to recharge with Dodgy. So, all right. So Lem gets, of course. Could you imagine a freaking halfling using a long sword? Come on now. Strength melee six, which of course Lamb is a D4 because he's a halfling. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna make anyone waste a blessing on this. So oh wait, but I get a D4 here, so I'll just try it and I'll be the most hilarious halfling ever carrying a sword that's larger than him. <laughs> <laughs> if I happen to get this. Three, four. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, good, because that would be weird. <laughs> that would have been funny. Okay. I still don't have anything to let me <sighs> explore again. All right. Well, that's all right. I'm sorry. Blame. I guess that's it. All right. And then this one. Oh, I have to roll a d12 when I encounter a card. So give me my card. Ooh, not a one. Okay. So I got a skeleton. And my skeleton is a combat eight. Mental and poison. I don't have any mental and poison, so I'm good. Um, if it has piercing and tra- slashing. Which is going to, sadly. check to defeat is increased by three. Uh, yeah. It's going to, sadly. <laughs> All right. So Wait. whatever. That's okay. This is on... No, I'm on okay. Lyrian now. Just check. Um, all right, so Lyrianne is going to use... Let's see which one is the best one. Um... I think... 
Okay, so my dex is a d8. I'll use my light crossbow. And for that, I get my d8 plus a d8. Um, so I think that's probably fine because he is only an eight. So I basically, I'm good. Five, six, seven. Mm. <laughs> uh -oh. Plus. oh, I am ranged. Oh, thank God. Whew. I forgot I was ranged. Oh, I have plus three. Oh, okay. Larry Ann's fine. Man, the skeleton freaked me out for a second. All right. Just kidding. I'm fine. I forgot it's Lem that doesn't have any range, but he does have dex. Oh, okay. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, I got nothing. Dang it. All right. You know what? I'm just going to discard my leather armor, which is in my hand, so that I can pull another card because I'm stuck here at these islands. Ah, Horskin, sorry. I'm stuck here at these islands all by myself. All right. That is Olox. And you're going to move. So where do you want to move to? Um... Should I go to the shipyard? Uh, shipyard, succeeded intelligence, or craft eight to close? Mm, no. Okay. Uh, shark Island. <laughs> you have to summon the shark, or you can go with someone. Don't come with me, because I get a plus four when I'm alone, or a d4 when I'm alone. Um, intelligence, knowledge. Do you have knowledge? No. Okay, so then go with... Harsk. Harsk. Wait, do you have an ally? No. Never mind. Uh, discard a card from the Blessings deck. So yeah, you're fine here. Okay. And that's the one I have to roll. You have to roll a 12. I mean, you have to roll a d12 and not get a 1. Nope. Okay, good. No, turtle. No, turtle. Mercenary. He's a combat 10. Difficulty to defeat is increased by the adventure de deck snow, if any. So he's only... <laughs> Only a 10. So, I will use my belay pin, which gives me my strength or melee plus 1d4. Um, that gives me a d12 plus 1 and a d4. Probably. d12 plus 1 and a d4, so you have to get a 9. With 16, you're probably fine. I mean... I mean, I could discard one of my cards to get another D12. I'm at the same location as you. Um, or oh, I, I could just get a plus two by displaying yeah, one. that's true. Because it's going to be the end of my turn. Because it's two for you, right? Mm -hmm. It's two for you and one for everyone else? No, it's just one. That's one? Oh, plus two total. You're right, you're right, you're right. Yeah, plus two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you might as well, because it's the end of your turn. And I still Ooh, failed. God. I still failed. A three and a one. Oh, ouch. God, that sucks. Oh, gosh. Okay, so seven so that means, damage? That means our, da our ship takes damage. Oh, when you take damage, you can't I, do it? Your ship takes damage? I think so. Damn it! Oh, look. <laughs> Oh, we forgot to get plunder under the third. Well, we didn't have any. Oh, we're supposed the, to get one. At the start of the game. So, grab one. Yeah, I forgot we're supposed to put one underneath at the start of the game. Does that mean our plunder is gone, though? Yeah. Oh, whoops. Oh, boo. Well, <laughs> no one wanted that anyway. All right. So, what does that mean? So, it's totally killed? No. Just get the repair. Oh. Okay. So, if you... With the craft, I think. Uh, yes. Yeah. So the check to repairs are here. It's a craft six, and you have to be on the ship to do it. I'm assuming. Yeah, which all of us are. Well, each turn we are, unless we're at the same yeah. location. So you and I are on it right now. Um, Lyrian yeah. and I don't have craft. So uh, does well, anyone no, have craft? It it moves. Remember with it. Yeah, I know. So, so she'll she be has on craft. It. Okay. She's she's got craft. So she'll get it next. So he goes back in, right? Yes. There. Stupid mercenary. He gets shuffled back. And in. I think I take damage. I think I take damage too. Yeah, you have to get whatever damage. I just lose all three of my cards. Yeah. Well, you can cure yourself, or I can cure you because I have a cure. So. Plus, I know you have more weapons in there, and the belaying belaying pin is not that exciting. So. 
probably fine. Plus you're a tank, so whatever. All right, well, that was a fun turn. <laughs> oh, there's my cure. Okay, so now it is uh, her turn. And you want to fix the ship I first? I think that's the way it needs to happen. So what, it's a craft? Craft six. Six? This is the first time playing with ships, so... And so I get a, a D12, or no, yes, a D12 plus two. Okay. So I throw all four to repair our ship. You're probably fine, <laughs> hopefully. Oh, God. Okay. So, no, that does not count. <laughs> you got a three. You got a three. Oh, Okay. So you can only try once a turn or something? I'm looking to see if I had anything that I could have <laughs> used, but nope. Dang. Okay. Well, I guess you try the next turn. Oh, wait. Lem has craft. Oh, thank God. We'll try on Lem's turn, I guess. Oh, wait. No, that, 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 was a, that was a D12. Never mind. Yeah, you had the right one. All right. Well, sorry. I think we're all another, 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 no, she's not there. No, you're here at this one. So... Oh, if your ship takes structural damage. But, but that's I, at this location. I wasn't, yeah. Okay, good. Oh, I'm not Yay. even going to try that. <laughs> leather? You don't want to have no, leather? I don't want that. <laughs> Does she even wear armor? Nope. Yeah, that's lame. Do you have anything you can explore with? Uh, yes. Man, we need more explorability. Oof. God. I had to add the swatch blocking trait to my check. Cool. It's a spell. Oh, well, that's not terrible, actually. But it's a divine spell. Oh, dang. What, what do you owe? Oh, I'm arcane. Oh. He's divine, right? Mm -hmm. Olaf is divine? I could roll, I could roll max and, and get it. Uh, yeah, I mean, you can try. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Run off max. Man, we rolled so much better last game than this game. <sighs> that sucks. All right, well, I'm assuming she's done. Yeah, I'm done. Okay, so it's Lem's turn. Yeah, it's Lem's turn. So Lem is gonna try to heal the ship. Uh, does that mean I can get this skill what? of getting a plus four or a four. plus D four? If you are the only one here, add D four to checks attempted at this location. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'm gonna. That's the way I read it. I'm gonna just say that if it's cheating, then oh well. <laughs> it's a check to. To I know. Attempt it at this location. <laughs> okay. I have a D6 plus one and a D4 to get a D6. So I have to get a five on a 10. Yeah. <laughs> five. Yes. Ha <laughs> ha. Lem is the best. All right. <laughs> Woo. Well, our plunder is gone, but it was stupid anyway, so it's all right. Um. <laughs> all right. So now I'm here. Yay, a hammerhead! Yes, okay, good. So this location can close finally. It's a combat nine. All right, combat nine is fine because I have a spell, which I'm gonna use because it's better than my weapons. So I'm gonna use my force missile and my arcane is under my charisma, which is a D10. So I have a D10 and I get a D4 because I'm at this location by myself. And I also get two D4s for the spell. So I have three D4s and a D10 to get a nine. A nine, so I have to get an eight because I have a plus one. So I think I'm good. <laughs> I hope I'm good. Don't roll ones. No snake eyes. A zero. That's a 10. Yes. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I beat it. <laughs> cool. So the shark is gone. Not really. He's going to stay right there for a second. Uh, banish an ally. Frigin. Dang it. Oh, you did that last time, too. I did. I don't have, I never had an ally out. All right, so I can't close the location. Oh, I can't close the location. Dang it. I need more allies. Can I just get rid of my leopard? Oh, okay. Um, so now I have to wait until all the cards are gone, which we can sucks. We can just funnel them into that one. Just move, just move on your next turn. Okay. Okay, well, we know that the enemy is not here. Or that the villain is not here. Yes. So, yeah. So, we'll just 
yeah, we'll just try to get him into this stupid location. Um, all right, so, but this still has to go into another location. Yes. All right. Because he's defeated. So, four. one, two, three, four. Roll so, a D4. four. four. And four. So, it's on the bottom of that one. Fitting. Shark at Shark Island. <laughs> all right. Dang it. Stupid allies. All right, well, I'm still here. And... Yeah, that's it. Oh, I gotta recharge my spell. Where did it go? Um, so you. Sorry, guys. No. Um, the. Uh, uh, recharging is d10 plus one, and I have to get a six. I got a three, so I need to recharge. <laughs> All right, whatever. It's fine. Um, oh, wait. I get a plus four or d4 for that, too, right? Because it's a check at this location. Four, five. Still didn't get it. <laughs> Okay, never mind. Oh, well, whatever. All right, so now it's Lyrian's. And Lyrian has to roll a d12 for the stupid turtle. Yay, no turtle. All right. And you get a turtle. Oh, look, how ironic. This one's a nice turtle, though. Um, okay, wisdom survival five. My wisdom is a d12. Woo, no survival. But my wisdom is a d12, so that's cool. So... I'm just going to straight out roll it and hope to get a five. Eight. Sweet. Come here, turtle. You going to use them to explore? Um, yeah. Examine the top. Okay. Um, yeah. Treasure hunt. Intelligence knowledge. Um, well, I mean, I have a D6. For both? <laughs> I have a D6 intelligence, so I can't do it. <laughs> Increased by adventure dictionary number of the character scenario, if any. Each character may attempt a check at, to, at, at a check to defeat this barrier. Oh, so both of us can. Because mm -hmm. we're together. Each character may recharge on any number of allies. For each ally recharge, add 1d4 to that character's check. Well, that's helpful. <laughs> Olaf doesn't carry allies. Each character that succeeds may attempt may add a random item from the box to her hand and match the barrier. So it, 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 there's nothing bad that happens if you if you don't defeat it, you just don't get the, yeah. a random Yeah, well, ally. I'm not going to use a blessing on it, but you can attempt it. I, oh, you're dumb, too, because you're an orc. <laughs> well, we're the worst people to get this treasure hunt one. And I can't. So neither of us can have any allies to recharge. Yeah, we're just going to... We just don't... No, there's no negatives to that one. They're just We just don't get the positive. That's that one, lame. Unfortunately. So... Meh. Oh, well. Okay, well, I got nothing now, so um, I can mm, I can discard this conch shell and examine the top of another location deck and then succeed in a perception 7 to recharge it instead of discarding it. My perception is a d12 plus 2, so I could do that if you want to see what's on top of something. Your, well, we know, well, no, we don't know what's on top of the one that we're both at. We could do it at that one. We don't know what's on top of either one of those. Yeah, but neither, none of us are there. You. So, meh. I'll use it on, I'll use it on your turn. This one? Yeah. Mercenary. The no, that was the one that you died against. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to roll for my perception while you go. And this is Olak? Yeah, it's Olak's turn. And it's a mercenary because we just figured that out. So he, again, he's a combat 10. I don't think he's increased by anything this time. Because it wasn't he increased by No. No, he wasn't was. increased by anything. You just sucked. <laughs> so. My boarding axe. You're going to chop him up this time. All you had was a blade pin last time. That was part of the problem. This is a strength or melee plus 1d6. Um, does he have the pirate trait? No, he does not. Darn it. How is he not a pirate? Look at his outfit. I know, right? Come on now. How is that? How is this not a pirate? Seriously. Come on. But, um... He has a skull tattoo. Come on. But I get a D12 and a D6. D12 plus one and a D6. All right. <laughs> He's gotta be killed. You only have to get a nine. 
Yes. Ooh, good. Fourteen total. Suck it, mercenary. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use my cure on myself. Yeah. Because I have like six cards left. <laughs> Get a uh, four. Right. Get a uh, four. Yep. Yeah. Sweet. So that gives me five cards I can put back in my deck. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. And a lot of decent ones. And you shuffle them in? Yeah, shuffle them in, then I'll try and recharge my cure. And then it's her turn. Unless you're going again, I'm assuming you're not. I don't think, yeah, no, I no. don't have any way of doing that. My divine is D8 plus two. I forgot to reset my hand on both of them. Oops. I rolled a one, so my cure does not get recharged. Well, that's good. <laughs> So that's with here? Yeah, for you, yeah. It's the captain. Nice. She's a constitution fortitude or a quick diplomacy. I think that's a boy. I can't <laughs> tell. It's a boy with long hair. There'd be way more boobs if it was a girl. <laughs> this is probably true. I'm just saying. So I have a D8 plus two. So I have to get a four and a D8. Not bad. Yeah, no, it's not bad. Nope. Oh god. I am just rolling <laughs> crappy rolling today. Style today. Seriously. <laughs> Sorry, Captain. You're not. You're not cool enough to be with us. Let me see if I have any. If I have enough blessings that I want to use to explore again. What does Dodgy do again? He gives you the arcane or the divine trade or something. Uh, arcane and craft. Oh, okay. Yeah, you need to go again? Yeah. It's a henchman. Yay! So. You should just call them all Meg. <laughs> right. <laughs> Another Meg. And I have Frostbite. Nice. So that is a... D12 plus 2 and a D6. Oh, and I didn't even see that um, it's reduced damage. If I fail, damage is reduced by 1. Nice. So, I have to get an 8. Yeah. Yep, 14. Sweet. So, it go, we have... Three, four others still? Yeah, because that, that one's still open. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, because it's... Yeah, it's still open. One. That one. You're here. Oh. So this one. Okay. I'm going to try to retract right my frostbite. Arcane Divine, seven. So that's a D12 plus two. Nope. <laughs> um, what's to close? Uh, intelligence, knowledge, seven. Where, where am I? You're right here. Oh. I do have a blessing, so if you need it, I can get that for you. I have a D12 plus two. So we have to get a five. I could play a spell to reduce the difficulty of... Oh, that's a... Nope, never mind. That's to defeat a monster. So what do you think? Should I take it? Should I take that to make sure this closes? Um, I mean, you have to get a five on a D twelve. Yeah. I mean, you have ha you have like what six, seven, seven chances. That's cocked. <laughs> it was cocked. All right. 
Nine. So, so it closes. Okay, cool. On closing, move to a random other location. Well, it doesn't say other. It doesn't say random open. It's random other. Oh, that's freaking tough. So. So seven or ten? No. Ten. Five? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Nine. So I moved. Nine, to ten? Nine. Nine, ten. Oh, yay. So I'm <laughs> here. That's lame. And we missed out on a confusion spell, a sea drake. Ooh, that looks terrible. Good thing we didn't get that. And the build spider swarm. Good. Do not want that either. All right, so it's back to Lem. And Lem is leaving because this is a stupid island. So I'm not going to Shark Island. I will die. Um, I will go to Intelligence Craft. Do I even have? Yeah, I have that. Okay. Um, I will go to the floating shipyard. This is the first one that's here. So at this location, um, you add three to your checks to repair ships. And, um, that's good because it's craft and I have that anyway. But, um, oh boy, I need, I need succeed heal. at a intelligence craft eight. Do we have to be at the same location? We do, right? For me to heal you? Okay, so you can come to my location next time. The floating shipyard and I'll heal you. Um, I don't take much damage. All right. Well, you can move right then. When did it start your turn? Because I have to come wait for it to come back around you. Oh, well, sorry. Ah, oh, dang it. Pirate hunting. Is that the same one? It's the same one. Are we together? Or are you... No, I'm by myself. I'm at the floating shipyards. So give me a random ship. I mean, I have a dagger. <laughs> is, it a, is it a combat? You can throw a ship. You can think, throw a dagger at yeah, it. Yeah, I think it is. Okay. Go. Oh, okay. That's fine, I guess. Dex disable eight. No. Or a wisdom survival six. Ah. Uh, okay. After all, perfectly. Either way. Yay. <laughs> Um, cool. When encountering this ship, if your check to defeat has the swashbuckling trait, add one to it. Uh, I don't have none of that. Okay, well, I can add, I can recharge a card to add a d4 to a check at my location, by character at my, my location, which includes me. So I can get a d4. I guess I'll use my D8, I don't know. Um, I do have a blessing. You know what? I'll maybe just pass my turn on Olok. I'll give you a plus one. I'll display my weapon. Well, I'm... I don't have my conch shell anymore. Never mind. Because I was going to say I could look at the top card. But um, anyway, hold on. Let me figure out what I'm doing. So... Well, no, I'm saying I could I could just have this displayed until the end of my yeah, turn. Yeah, I know. I can move Olok to where Fea is. And heal her? Heal her. Okay. With my with my other Ability. spell. Okay. Actually, no, I can't. Oh, wait. No. Oh, oh, look. I have this. Okay. Eye patch. Recharge this card to add a D4 and the swashbuckling trait to your check to acquire an ally or defeat a bane or a ship. Or D8 oh, nice. if it has the pirate trait. Well, it says it's a pirate ship. It should have the pirate trait. That's stupid. I know, right? <laughs> Whatever. Well, I get a D4, so... so that, that, if I recharge cards, I shuffle them into my deck, which is nice. That's one of Lem's skills. So that's... So I get two D4s and whatever one I'm going to use, either a D6 or a D8, but I have to get rolled perfectly on it, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll use D8, so I'll do the Dex, um, and then I'll just bless myself and give myself another D8. That should be good enough. I hope so. For the love of Pete, should be good enough. <laughs> to, that all to get an eight? Yes. I'm overkilling it a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. yeah, I didn't need those two other d4s, but whatever. Whew. No, we cannot keep it, so it goes away. Yeah. Here you go. Stupid ship hunt. Oh, God. After all that. Okay, well... I don't have enough to cure myself. I don't have enough to make it worth it. So I guess I'll just be done. 
Um, all right, so Olox, did you you gave me the thing, right? Yeah. You just played that, so. That I just one. played my weapon. Yeah. Did I put this out? Did I just do that? Yeah. So he's gonna move to where Faye is. Okay, so he's moving here. He's gonna use his ability. Instead of your first expression on the turn, you may reveal a blessing or armor to choose in the character at your location. Shuffle one d four plus one random cards from her discard pile into her deck, and discard the card you revealed. So I'm gonna reveal the chain mail. Um, and I'll roll my d four. Three. And I discard the chain mail that I that I revealed to, to, do, to do the healing, so that's okay. And his turn is done. <laughs> I got another chain mail out. That's hilarious. So okay. now it's Faya's turn. So Faye is gonna move? She's gonna move to Leany? Yeah. I mean to um, Leany who is Lem. Craft, she's yeah, craft. Well, yeah, she's got Yeah, she got plus two, I think. Plus then our cats can hang out together. Well, I have a cat and you have a dog. How dare you? Alright, so you're on the ship. Sorry. Alright. Ooh, a parrot. And this is uh, the Wisdom Survival. <laughs> so hilarious. The um, Wisdom Survival 7. I can give you a D4 because I'm at your location. You may recharge a card to add a D4 to any check by a character your location. Oh, I never... I mean, I could use my... I never actually took cards out. Whoops. Could you use my eye patch? Yeah, you could do that if you want. I guess. You want me to help you. That gives me a D4 as well. You recharge it? Don't you recharge it? Oh, yeah. The parrot's so pretty. So that's a D4 plus a D8, right? No, it wasn't survival. Yeah. So D4 and D6 plus nothing. Roll a 7 exactly. Ooh, okay. If you would fail a check by 4 or less, you may bury the discard card to ignore the result and reroll the dice. It's not terrible. But I'm going to use them to explore. Yeah. Ooh. A Jinx Eater. Christmas Diplomacy 8. Well, you do have that. Discard this card to explore your location. Add one year your comic journal's exploration. So. Does he have the pirate trait? No. What the heck? He's an assassin. He looks freaking creepy. Well, I'm just going to roll it. Just... Is he like a crow person? What is going on here? So I have to roll, I have to get a six on a D eight. He's wearing a pirate hat. That's dumb. But he's like a crow person. That's very odd. I have to get a six on a D eight. I'm just gonna roll it. Yeah. I got a seven. Cool. I could have given you a D four too, by the way. Um, I will add, I will discard him to explore, and I will get, add one to my combat checks. Nice. Be a combat. Nope. Oh look, a wooden shield. <sighs> Not even gonna try. <laughs> Lame. Um, I'm going to recharge my lookout to examine the top card of my location deck. It is a barroom brawl. Again? Each character encounters it, so I guess I'm moving. Sorry, I'm abandoning Wait. you. What, what, what's the check, though? Strength melee decks. Strength melee decks. Fine, I'll stay here. But each one does it. Each character does it. Each character does not defeat it. Is dealt one plus the adventure deck number in combat damage. My, my dex is not bad. You have to get a five. My, my dex is a d8. I could reduce it by one. I'll just stay here and I'll encounter it. You will have to do it next turn. Because I can give you a d4 by recharging. So. Okay. I mean, my my deck's a D8, so it's not that much better. All right. It is Lem's turn. But we are at the same place. And it is the stupid barroom brawl. 
All right, so both of us have to do it. Uh, strength, melee, and dex. I think we're both using dex, right? Yeah. I, I'm wondering if this black spot... Oh, this is only a monster. Never mind. But I can uh, recharge a card to add a d4 to you if you would like. I think... I can recharge re re a card for both of us, I guess, to Combat to reduce speed. it by one. Um, to make, yeah. it, make it a four. Yeah. I, I think that's one for each of us. Because when a character at your location attempts a check to acquire an ally or defeat a barrier, maybe you recharge a card to reduce the difficulty of that check by one plus the card's adventure deck number. I think you have to recharge one for each. Though. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 what I was, that's what I was wondering. Yes. I would so, agree. I'll recharge charge my black spot for you. So it's a four. Okay. So you go ahead and roll it. Okay, I have a D8. I'm not going to do anything else for myself. I got a four. Whew. And then I will recharge my amulet of life for myself. Do you have a D8 also? Yes. Okay, so, I mean, if you want, I can give you a D4, but... I'm probably okay. It was last words. <laughs> right. <laughs> Three, really? And let me recharge something and give you a D4. What a miracle. Okay, so get I recharge something and you get a roll a D4. <laughs> I told you. No, well, now I roll an eight on my D8. What of? Or was it actually no, It doesn't matter. You would have gotten two. a one. From my yeah. D8, from my D4, so you're welcome. We should have done that. Uh, we're not going to do that very often. He's stubborn. He doesn't want You help. know what? Shush. Okay. <laughs> that was... Well, Lem's turn. Yeah, so I'm down. All right, so... Four cards for my turn. Lem is going to um, use a blessing of the gods to explore again, and hopefully it's not something for both of us. Oh, great. This is what... Allowed us to seize the ship last time. Yeah, it is. It's the henchman, uh, enemy ship henchman. We get to encounter a random ship, and if you do not defeat it, it is undefeated, which means that you have to put it back in. Um, if the summon ship is defeated, you can seize it, and then this card is also defeated, and then you can do the check to um, close. And what kind of checks are we hoping for? <laughs> um... Anything that's not strength would be great. <laughs> Code of knowledge, wisdom, survival? I will take that. Yep. Intelligence, knowledge is d6 plus 2. Dang it! I have to get a d8. I have to get an 8 with basically rolling perfectly. Alright. Well, I can recharge a card to give myself a d4. So I could, I'll do that. Um, yeah. You may discard an ally that has the pirate tree to add two to your check to defeat. Well, I don't have any freaking allies. <sighs> Dang it. All right. Well, this is not, is this considered a combat check? I think so. Yeah. No, because I'm using wisdom and intelligence. Oh. So I don't think so, right? So I, mean, I can, can give you a plus one. I just won't have any weapon to play on. I'll walk. Um. Well, okay. So if I don't get it, the stupid ship just goes back in, right? I mean, we don't take damage. Yeah, you would, I think. No. If you do not defeat it, the enemy ship is undefeated. Just... Yeah, you still take damage. Oh. Oh, well, god damn it. <laughs> okay. Um... Are you playing a weapon? No. I can't, because it's wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom and intelligence. All right, well, it's fine. I'm going to recharge my cure. Yeah. I'll recharge my cure to give myself a d4. I can give you a plus one if you, need, if you think you need it. Okay, well, hold on. Let me figure out what I'm doing. All right, so I have a D4 and a D6. 
plus two. So I have to get a six with a d4 and a d6. <laughs> so I'd have to get a three with a d4 and a d6. If I give you a plus. If you give me a plus one. Oh, you only have to get a four? No, sorry, I have to get a six. So I have to get a six. So you have to get a five on a d4 and a d6. Is that right? Am I doing this right? Yes. Because I have a d6 for intelligence. Okay, well, I might as well do wisdom. Because wisdom is a d6. Oh, but then I have plus nothing. And I still have to get a six. All right, never mind. I'll do the plus. So, yeah, if you give me a plus, I would have to get a five on a d6 and a d4. I mean, I don't know. That's the best we can do. Yeah, that is the best we can do. Oh, hello. Well, it ended as a four, so that's fine. Oh, you got a five anyway, even though on the D6. Woo, okay. Stupid so ship. It's we, all right, because we get this. Yay. Yeah, we get to seize that. So, um, it is a class one. <laughs> Yay. Uh, when you're commanding it, you may discard a card from the Blessings deck to recharge a random card remember. from the discard get, pile. If you seize a ship, you get, do you get plunder? Um, I... I think so? I don't... I don't, I don't know about that. I don't remember. I thought it told us that we get plunder. Mm. Like when you when you do something. Nah. Oh well. Anyway, whatever. It's fine. Um. So that's cool. So do you want to use this one instead? Yeah, I'd say let's use this one instead. All right. So we're switching out chips. Um, at the, but the, at the end of the end of the game, we'll get to mark that one off on our. Yeah, so we'll get to choose basically at the start of each scenario which ship. So this one gets. That one gets defeated, so that's and you gone. Get, so you get to attempt to close the location. Yes, and my attempt to close is intelligence craft eight. Well, I do have craft. Oh god, dang. D six plus one. All right, so I guess I'll recharge a weapon to give myself a D four, which means I shuffle it in because that's what I do. Oh man. All right. Man, the first ones always suck because you're like so weak. Okay. I got a D4. <laughs> I got a D6 plus one. So I have to get a seven on a D6 and a D4. Uh, there's not much I can help you with. I know. I'll just try it. We'll just. Sorry. I'll just go with it. Stupid limb. Three, four, five. No. Okay. Well, actually, what was it? It was a wiz It was a intelligence craft. Intelligence craft. Never mind. Yeah. Nope. So nope. We didn't close this one either. We're <laughs> not doing very well. And I keep putting my hand in front of our green tree. Um. He just wants you to see his hand. Um. All right. So that's annoying. And I can't do nothing else. So that's it. That was fun. Okay. I'm gonna reset my hand now. And that was Lem. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Lim. Thanks a lot. All right, now it's Larry Ann, who's also just doing great down here by herself. This one? Yeah. Yes, thank God. It's the shark. Okay, good. Because we need to close this stuff down. All right, good. Um, oh, I didn't, isn't this the turtle location? Oh, no one. Haha, <laughs> the turtle never came out this time. All right, so the shark is a nine. I'm going to shoot it with a crossbow. Uh, all right. So my light crossbow is my ranged, which is a D8 plus three. Don't forget the plus three. So a D8 plus three and a D8. And I have to get a nine. So I have to get a six. With, I'm fine. I'm fine. Seven, eight. Oh, okay. I got a one on a D8. All right. He is dead. It one, discarded. two, three, three. So D6. We have all D6. One. So this one. Great. We know. Is it, oh, yeah, because it's from here, right? Yeah. Great. And <laughs> discard a card from the white blessing deck. Yes. And that is closed. So do we have to? No, we get rid of this now, right? Yeah. Sweet. Goodbye, other stupid shark. It's only the villains. Okay. That that, so that, that this happens. Is closed. And do we get any? On closing stash of plunder card. Oh yeah, that's why we stash of plunder. So roll so, D6. D6. Four. And that is a item. 
Cool. Well, it's random, right? Yeah. Great. <laughs> Fortune of fortitude. <laughs> Okay, so that was my turn. I can't do anything else anyway because my location is closed. This is. This is. Olak. Olak's turn. He can't do much because his his weapons displayed. Um. Okay. Well, there's a lot of monsters in here, so you don't want to go there. Is there anybody that, that needs healing? Like that's desperate for healing. Um. She might be. I don't know, Thea. I, I I'm fine on Lyrian, and I have a cure. I'm, on Lem. I'm okay, I guess. Don't oh. you have you have a conch shell? You could just stand where you are and look at a different the top of a different location. Yeah. And then if you want to move there next time, you can. <laughs> just can't really. You can at least do that. You can see what's here. He can't. Shark. He can't really recharge it. Oh well, why do you have that one? I don't know. Uh, all right. Yeah, shark island. It's a smuggler. Why do I keep doing that? <laughs> he really. I, I, I need, need something to rest my, rest my I know. Hand. It's, we're kind of cramped in here because it's like a tiny, tiny, tiny table. Um, anyway, so before you act, display a random card from your hand. If defeated, discard it. If undefeated, bury it. So, yeah, that's that guy. Um, so, yeah, you would have had no weapon against him. So, that's fine. Well, at least you know what that is. And I guess your turn is done. Yeah, I should have moved somewhere, though. Well, it doesn't matter, right? You yeah. can move at the beginning of your next turn. Okay. All right. Oh, what the heck am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what you were doing. <laughs> All right. And she is where? She's with Lem at this location that is now not closed. So you might as well just keep doing it. Because we have one. Where do we want to eventually try and get? This one's hard to close. This Spanish and ally. Okay, so, so yeah. And I'm pretty sure that the villain somehow, again, ended up in Shark Island. <laughs> the same. I don't even get that. Uh, okay. But anyway, the villain's obviously here because he's not here. He's not here. So he's in here. So, yeah. Shackles pirate. He looks like a pirate. Uh, difficulty to defeat is increased by the adventure select narrative. If any, if the check to defeat is the swashbuckling trait, add 1d4 to it. Cool. So let's see here. What can I do? Uh, I will use my frostbite. Do you have like 10 of those? No, I keep, I keep recharging them. Oh, okay. So that's a D12 and a D. Six. Yep, thirteen, thirteen. So. Goodbye, pirate. Um, roll d twelve to see if I get a set, a five or higher. Cause it's a seven to re recharge. Yep. Man. We really need to explore some more. Yeah, I have no way of exploring that. Uh, okay. So. Well, I at least have a couple allies on this one, so I could... Maybe I'll switch back over since we're going to have... We know he's going to be here. Maybe I'll switch back over and just keep one of my allies out. And then if yeah. someone explores and gets the enemy, then I'll just banish it to temp close. Yeah. Okay. Because it's my turn now, right? Yes. And did I flip this already? No. All right, so come on over here. Ah, God, I'm so sorry. You're, you're going to... <laughs> I'm going to Lonely Island. Okay. All right, so we... Oh, look, a chest. Uh, strength and melee. <laughs> or dex disable. Great. I have a D8 for dex disable. Um, I can give myself a D... Oh, I can give myself two D4s because I'm back at the Lonely Island and I'm by myself. So I can recharge... Something. Hold on. Acquire an ally that has a pirate trait. No. Reveal Excuse this. Me. Reveal this card when you were when you were required to shuffle one or more cards from your hand and discard pile. No. Reveal this card to recharge another card. 
and we charge another card for non constitute for non combat constitution or intelligence. That's none of that's helpful to me. All right, so I can recharge. I'll recharge an ally card. I mean, one of the this rum bottle that helps with allies, which means I shuffle it in, and then that gives me a D four, and I'm at the lonely island, so I get another D four. And my regular is a D eight, so I'll just try it with that because I have to get a nine. Eight plus anything? No. Plus nothing. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh come on! Dang. And I would say we practice this thing because we're we're kind of running out of time. Yeah, no, we're not going to do it again. All right, so that's, that's one you stinks. could get again. Shuffle, get shuffle back in if you want. If you don't defeat it. All right, but, I'm going to use my captain to explore again, and I get the swashbuckling trait on my non-combat checks. Okay. And you are... I am at the Lonely Island. Illusory Wall. Uh, intelligence, Arcane, Wisdom, Perception. Um, I have Intelligence... Oh, I have Arcane. Okay, so my Arcane is a D10. D... 10 plus 1. So I have to get a 5 on a D10. I'll just check it with that. Oh, and I get a D4 because I'm at the Lily Island by myself. 6, 7, 8. If, if defeated, examine the top card of the location deck and return it to either the top or bottom. Bottom. Wait, it doesn't matter because there's nothing in here. Dang it, never mind. What's on survival? Um, That's fine. I'll put it on the top. Uh, okay. I know I need an ally. To banish, to banish the allies. So never mind, I have to keep it out. So I'm done. Dang. Okay. It's her turn. I'll help you do this one. Um, let me reset my hand. All right. So we can get through this. Black spot, of course, when the don't have any, whatever. Um, intelligence. Or wisdom, because I don't have Arcane or Divine. Wisdom is a D12. So, ha, ha black spot. Um, all right. D12. Got a four exactly. Nice. Can't use this anyway. Uh, discard this card to decrease the difficulty to defeat a monster plus one. I mean, I could banish it. It's not that great of a spell, right? So, yeah. I'll leave it out. I'll use my lookout to examine the top card <laughs> that's it all right recharge to examine the top card of your location deck it's a dire rat oh the stupid dire rat all right well okay that's what it is <laughs> i recharge this card great have fun with the dire rat because you're gonna be summoning it <laughs> on on uh, Faya. Yeah, sorry. Uh, oh, I got... <laughs> I got another fro my fresh right still. All right, so do you want to go to the Shark Island and start knocking that out? Yeah. All right, because we know that's where the villain is. All right. Oh, yeah, it's the smuggler. We knew that. So combat nine. Before you act, just lay a random card from your hand. If you defeated, discard it. If undefeated, bury it. Oh, boy. I guess I will def display... A phantasmal minion, because that kind of sucks. And I will you? use my boarding... Meh. Sorry. <laughs> you have a fire blade. Which is divine. My, my strength's better. Oh, okay. It's a d12 and a d6. Is it... Not, does not have the pirate trait? It's a smuggler. I know. Everything in this deck should have the pirate trait. This is dumb. Ten. 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 Ten on the dice. Ah. I, I beat it anyway. Suck it, smuggler. All right, so, so you have to just discard disc whatever you displayed. Discard that. I have no way of exploring again. Gah. All right. Go back here. Man, we really need to get this. And she done. is up there. Yeah, it's that guy. I mean, it's that rat. Combat or dexterity stealth? <laughs> you can sneak past the rat. 
come at eight. It's really funny. I always my frostbite again. So that is a D12 and a D6. Eight plus whatever. whatever. He's an eight. He's an eight. Ha ha! That rat is creepy as heck. I will attempt a recharge. Yep. Um, I guess I could use a detect magic if I wanted to. What's the top one you get? Top one's magic you get. If, it, if it's a magic, if it's a blessing or has the magic trait, I get okay, to. Okay, well the bottom one's a shark, so. The top one. I mean, I don't encounter it. Although, if it's uh, only if it's if it's not magic or a blessing, so I can use this. Okay. Safely. So I can encounter that if I wanted to. Might as well. Yeah, we I, we know the last one's a shark because it got put in that location. So. Stupid shark. So I will encounter that. It's an intelligence arcane. Four, Four, so I have to roll a two. Yeah. I roll a 12. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just, just going to discard it. Yeah. And I think I am done because I have no attack Cards spells. left? Yeah. I have no attack spells. Yeah. All right. So it's Lem. Um, Still have no attack spells, so. Have should, <laughs> should Lem just go over and kill the shark and close that, that location? One? Yeah. Okay. Because I have... I, it's either gonna be gonna be Lem or whoever's there, because I have no attack spells in, in my hand right now. All right, now. so Lem is gonna kill the shark with a knife. Can he succeed at the crap check? The intelligence crap check. I didn't last time. <laughs> I have a blessing. I have a blessing, so I might be okay. I have a blessing too. Okay. Come on, Lem. All right, I'm using <laughs> my dagger. Which is my dex, which sucks. It's a D8. Um, and a D4. I can recharge a card. So I will recharge one of my allies. Uh, which means I shuffle it in. You know what would be funny is if this had the pirate trait. It should. It should have a little eye patch. <laughs> anyway. Baby <Okay>. shark. Shark. <laughs> That's your fault. That should be that should be what we sing every time. Um, you distracted me. Okay, I got a D four. I shuffled. I got a D four. You may additionally recharge this to get a D four. I only need an eight, right? I mean, nine. I need a nine. Do you have a plus on anything? No. Fine, fine. I will recharge it to get a D four, which means I shuffle it in to get a D four. So I have three D4s. I think I should be good now to get a nine. Three D4s and a... And a D8. Yeah. Six, ten. Yeah, I'm good. I've got more than ten. So it's gone. Is it gone? Because it's not... It's summoned or no? Do I have to... No, it's every time, right? Yeah. So we have to do it again. Oh, God. Roll a D4. One, two. Yeah. One here. Well, hopefully this stupid villain is not on the bottom of this deck. All right. Oh, he's, he's getting pushed up. Close this. All right. Craft check. Uh, it's intelligence is D6 plus one. I will use my blessing. To get another D6? To get another D6. You want a, you want a third D6? God, I mean, <laughs> I'll just recharge. I'll just, no, I need an ally. Because we're going to do that. No. Yeah. We're going to do this. Yeah. So I can't recharge that. And I want my cure. So yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, I have to get an eight. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. Stupid. All right. We just need to close this. Like so bad. Three, four, five, six, seven. Are you kidding me? Really? You have no plus? No, I don't have a... Oh, 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 thank God. I forgot. I forgot. 
Thank God I have a plus one. Thank God. <laughs> I'm like, really? Made, okay. What? Good God. I you mean, may bury a card to repair your ship. Well, no. Thank you. We don't need to. That was ridiculous. All right. Thanks a lot, Lem, you useless bastard. So okay. we know that the hay is where? Here. Okay. So everyone should go here and close this stupid thing. No, everyone should go here. Yes, and pile, pile drive that one. Yes. And just have one person here with, with, with an ally. Lem will go there because Lem has an ally. Calls. But um, but I have to go on my next turn. So hopefully he doesn't come out on this turn because that would be really annoying. All right. So you're going to explore, right? Wait, isn't this Larry Ann's turn? Oh, just kidding. Larry Ann's going to go here? Yes. Okay. Oh, I need the... No, I don't need the shark, because the shark comes out when you start there, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, Freden, are you kidding me? <laughs> at least, well, at least it's, temp it's automatically closed. But then... Uh, whatever, he's going to go into Lonely Island. All right. That's annoying. Um, He may not be evaded, and it's poison damage if I get damaged. All right, combat 15. Well, at least I can kill him. <sighs> Jeez. All right, so I'm going to use my crossbow because my crossbow is the best one. My range skill is a D8 plus three, and I get another D8. I can give you a, a plus one if you wanted it with a, either a spell or, or a blessing. Um, or weapon, sorry. It's a weapon with a blessing or a, or a weapon. I can give you a blessing. Is that your blessing? Yes. Okay. Just looking to see if I have anything else that might help. Uh, Lem does not because I'm not at the location with anyone else. Um, okay. Well, I have two D8s right now. So, yeah, whatever hope you can give me is probably good because I literally only have 16 if I roll perfectly. Well, I can I can give you. Well, this. actually, I I can totally give you the blessing. 15, 14, 13, 12. I would have. I have to get a 12, and I have 16. So... Are you using a weapon? Yeah. Oh, wait, I can discard it to add a d4 at another location. Well, that's useless. Hold on. I'll give you a d4. Wait, 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 wait. Babe, I'll give you a d4. With my, with my weapon. Okay. Because I could use my pistol. My pistol says, reveal this card to use your dex or range plus a d6. You can additionally bury it to get a d10. If you did not bury it, roll a d6 or a d12... If you are proficient with weapons, I'm and what would a blessing to... give you? What... Blessing would give me a D8. I can give you. A, I can just give you a straight D8 with the, with this. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. Let's do this all over again when he comes back out again. All right, I'm just gonna try it. Three D8s and the D4. I have to get a twelve because I have a plus three. Plus three. Ranged. Okay. Yeah. Right. Or did you give me a plus one? No, I, I just I gave you a straight blessing. Yeah, so I have plus, plus three. Two. I have plus three okay. for my range. Okay. All right, five, six, seven, eight, and a seven. Thank God. 15, 16, 17. Oh, okay. So it closes automatically. Good. I don't want to have to deal with this stupid location. There's two hammerhead sharks under here. Goodness sakes. And a bunch of stuff, but meh. A bunch of good stuff or a bunch of... And kind of whatever. There are some weapons in there, but it's okay. And uh, it has no effect. Right, I dropped first. a card. Alright. It has no effect, so there's no closing effect. And now we're all stuck at the Lonely Island, which is annoying. Hold on, guys. I'm stuck on the... <laughs> my mic. Is this yours? That was in... That was the project card that was right there. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm trying to shuffle him into the location oh <laughs> there's a really good weapon in there let's get that out before, eh, it's before okay. we find him it's all it's, it's only good for the alchemist really oh that's lame okay uh anyway um so that was her turn we're both stuck here so these guys have to come over here now now it's now it's my turn yeah it's your turn these are my cards so and i have yeah that's it okay so we're we're doing good on time actually you only have one more location open so where did she go? I moved the wrong person, didn't I? I did. <laughs> there you go. No. Oh, Olok. hello. It's Olok. Olok. Goodness Olok's sakes. 
grab the right one. All right. <laughs> You're the only person here right now, so you can't add a treasure map. map. If defeated, examine the top card of the location deck. If it's a bone, you may add it to your hand. Intelligence, knowledge, wisdom, survival. And you can't add a D4 because you're by yourself. I can? Yeah, you're at Lonely Land by yourself for right now. Intelligence, knowledge, wisdom, survival. So I have a D8 and a D4. Seven. That's yeah. Six. Sweet. So I can examine the top card of the location deck. If it's a boon, I may add it to my hand. <laughs> Yay! Look, you get a armor. A light armor, which I don't really need. Well, that's okay, because I can use that on one of mine. We can trade it then. Well, okay, he's done. <laughs> that was fun. We don't even need to keep this ally out, because we're just going to close it. Auto close. Whatever. All right, so now it is Faye's turn. Yes. Alright, so now Faye can go over. Um, slight problem. What? I have no attack spells on my hand. Well, hopefully it's not attack. Nope. I wasn't gonna look any I wasn't gonna go anyway. Oh good. Because it's the villain. With a with attack, I was like, what cheater. <laughs> so. I thought you were exploring. No! Oh. I wasn't going to. It's the villain. <laughs> well, we weren't supposed to cheat like that, but that's the one time we will do that on camera. Okay. Well, it's not really cheating because you weren't going to go anyway. And it's the top card, so it's fine. Lem is going to fight this stupid villain, I guess. Um, am I? Am I? No, I'm not, because I have no anything. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm going to reset my hand because I don't have anything in my hand. Uh, I literally have no anything. I have a cure. I'll just go ahead and cure myself to get it out of my hand. Um, I mean, I guess... Oh, good. I get one card. Great. That's Slim's? That's Slim's. Hold on. Okay, that's Larry Ann's. And then that's Olaf's. I'll do I it. Can, I can fight it on Larry okay. Ann. Okay. We're all just huddled here on Lowly Island. <laughs> How ironic. Two cards. Shuffle them in, and then I'm just going to discard some things. Recharge this, which is a recharge is D10. <laughs> no, got a one. All right. And then I will discard to examine the top card of your location deck and put it on the top of the deck. <laughs> It's useless. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that I could use for any reason. Um. Yeah. No. I'll just discard one of my cards so I can get another one. One. Two. Okay. So now she's joining everyone else. And it's a regular stupid blessing. That's fine. I have three weapons, so I'm probably okay. Um. I will use my pistol instead. Flip it at least. Oh, yeah. I'm fighting this guy. He's up. Sorry. Um, yay! He came back around to me. Uh, so I'm going to use my pistol instead because I can bury... So I don't get... Help me understand this card. <laughs> if I don't bury it, I get a... Something, something? The heck does that mean? Um. Yeah. Oh, if you didn't bear, if you didn't take the D ten, you roll a D six on a one or a one D twelve. You're proficient with weapons. You shuffle in your deck if you didn't bury it. So what? you lose the you lose it no matter what. Oh, really? Because it's a one-shot weapon, basically, because it's 
So if you think about it, it's a pistol. They have one shot. In- I don't know anything about pistols. That's dumb. Pistols from back then only had one shot. Well, I was playing it wrong last time then because I did not. I didn't see that. I did not understand that. Okay, well, I am going to bury it because that's some crazy uh, no. At least that's the way I read it. Yeah, that probably makes sense. I mean, that, that does make sense. All right, so I get a D8 and a D10 because I'm burying it. So good And whatever. And your D6. And a, oh, and, a, and a, that's right. And a D6. Um, oh, bearing it, not recharging it. I will display a weapon for, to give you a plus one. Okay. I already have a plus three, so I'm a plus four. I'll give you a blessing. Yeah, at the end of the last turn, when we know, we are just we just throw everything at it. Just and to have like, some fun. It's like t- super ridiculous. Okay. So a D8 from you. Lem has a blessing. So a D8 from Lem. You're at my location, so Lem will recharge, which means you get a D4. Anything else? No. That's good. Okay, I have one, two, three, three D8s, a D6, a D4, and a D10. Plus four. Okay. I think We're probably he good. might die. I need two hands to shuffle this. Okay. Three, six, nine, 18. 19. <laughs> 24. He's dead. He's double dead. Almost. Uh, yay, good. Goodbye. Um, <laughs> so, at the end of this scenario, each character gains a random item from the box. So we both get, we all get an item. A random, a item. random item from the box, which is cool. Um, so the items we got are the Onyx of Constitution, which is not terrible. I mean, you recharge, so that's pretty cool. To roll your constitution die, which yeah. is not bad. And my die is a d6, so that's pretty good. I got the Alchemist Flask, which is max. You have to banish it. So I'm probably going <laughs> to... And I also... Oh! And when you, when you would banish a item that has the alchemical liquid power for its trait, reveal this card to bury the card items into banishing it. So... Just trade her both of them. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Or just discard this card to search your deck for an item that has the liquid trait, then add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. After playing this card, it's succeeded a craft check. Oh, well, she has craft, so that's cool. So she'll get both of these. Yeah. And then I got the Noxious Bomb, which is all right. Um, you can additionally discard another card to add your craft skill, and after playing that card, succeed at a craft nine to recharge that card instead of discarding it. So it's it's a little bit different than the Noxious Bomb from the other one, because you don't have to, like, banish it if you're not alchemical, which is nice, because that's how the other Noxious Bomb worked, right? Is you had to banish it if you weren't alchemical, mm-hmm. which uh, Daniel was the only one that we were which playing was with. Which awesome. was awesome. It was awesome, great actually. for him, but not great for anyone else. That was some mighty fine work, boys and girls, the merchant captain shouts once the Adaro vessel is sunk. Working as a team, you heave its dead captain overboard and notice that his shark friends are more than happy to feast on his corpse rather than your own. Now somebody swab all this Adaro blood off my deck. Hey guys, so that was our first scenario. We hope you enjoyed it, watching it as much as we had filming it, and we'll catch you on the next one. This is Rolling Meeple. This is Panda Meeple. Well, see you for the next one. Bye.